Hi guys, it's Red Tips Goldilocks. This is my first video, and um, it's a tutorial on clay charms, actually. And this tutorial, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this paintbrush. And it's really cute. I really like it. On the back, it's just plain. On the front, it has a little face and stuff. Yeah, it's really cute. I like it. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Alright, so first off, you're going to um, roll out two pieces of Ecru clay. And I'm using um, Primo. Primo? Not Primo. <laughs> Sorry. And um, you're basically just going to make two logs. One of them skinnier than the other. As you can see, I already made the first one. And now I'm just making the fatter log. And you're just gonna fit them together um, to make sure that they look right. All right, so after you've got the two logs, you're gonna start blending them together like I'm doing now. Um, and this gets a little frustrating because it takes a while to get it even and stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep doing this. When you have the um, correct shape that you like, you're gonna take your black clay and roll it into a ball. Then you're gonna press it out and turn it into a rectangular shape, like I'm doing now. And make it the same length and width of um, the paintbrush that you like the base of the paintbrush that you just made and as you're gonna see shortly I made this one a lot too short like way too small <laughs> so um, I just went ahead and made it again and so then you're just gonna blend the base ecro into the black to make it look like it's connected and that's what I'm just doing now and then you're gonna take the color that you want the dips paint to be and just start um, conditioning it and then you're gonna f uh, roll it out into a flat um, thin sheet and then you're gonna wrap it around and this obviously wasn't working out for me so here's a second way that you could do it you can take that color again and um, form it into a rectangular shape um, obviously cutting the paintbrush um, down to a smaller size <laughs> before and you can just blend those two together afterwards and you're gonna see me doing this right about now if your log is too long for this like it was for me you're gonna want to trim it down and get it to the correct size and if it is big and you just don't feel like trimming it, you can just kind of like shape it so it's um, uh, longer. So it looks like the paint, there's more of a paint drip on it. Like so. And then you're just going to blend them together and try to make it look a little bit messy like I'm doing right now. So, um, I'm just like blending it right now, and I'm adding texture by running my fingernail over it, so it looks like it's bristles. You could also use a toothbrush and texture like you would with bread, but I think it looks better this way. You just need to do the same with the paint. And here are some pictures. Okay, before I show you the pictures, I just want to let you guys know that I made a face on it. 